We gotta do something about this. <laughs> no! Oh my. I just waited all this time for these eyelashes and they're ugly. They're ugly. Jeez. Uh, no, you take it with the phone. Oh. What you thought? So what you want me to do? I'm back. Shorty a body. Curly kid a body. Shorty doing big thing. Getting money in high fashion. You can come to If you say so, do you cap it? Cause shorty a body. Curly kid a body. Hey guys, it's a love curly K. I don't know why I just did that with my hands. I was really awkward. Hey. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. And I'm back with a new video. Today's video, a little get ready with actually. Today's video will be a little get ready with me because I look terrible. So I haven't did like a fully in-depth one where I was like really getting ready cute um, in a long time and like chit-chatting and talking to you guys while I'm doing it in a really long time and I've been getting a lot of requests for that kind of video again because I used to do them like all the time. So today we're getting ready to take Instagram pictures I guess so this is a get ready with me to take my Instagram pics or whatever basically out of pictures so that means it's time to take some more. So I'm gonna get ready, I gotta do my hair. I decided I wanted to try a new hairstyle today. Sorry, I really wanna take this, switch it on, cause I'm like so hot. I'm about to get in the shower. I wanted to try a new hairstyle out, so I'm really excited about that. I was gonna kinda show you guys like me doing the new hairstyle. So I'm gonna do that for you guys, but also like do my makeup, and then I'm gonna put on a cute little outfit, and then I'll show you guys like actually the process of taking the pictures and maybe even posting them on Instagram. Yeah, as you can see, my hair, it's uh, oh my god no way we gotta do something about this <laughs> i've already brushed my teeth washed my face i'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and you guys know how i do my hair and everything first always because it'd be soaking wet and it's annoying so i'll be back once i'm out the shower all right so i am back I just went ahead and like co-wash my hair a little bit and put different conditioners in it because the co-wash I usually use, which is the, the As I Am Coconut Co-wash, but I'm like all out. So I was just putting random conditioners, trying to just get a little detangled because I didn't have enough time to really wash my hair today. I'm trying to catch that light, okay? So I gotta kind of hurry up. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pattern leave-in conditioner. Let me show you guys a picture of kind of what I plan on doing to my hair. I usually don't do hairstyles like this, so that's why I'm kind of excited. I just hope it comes out right and doesn't take too long. I hate hairstyles that take all day. Like, nobody has time for that. I've been telling you guys about these pattern products. I really, really like them a lot. They do really good with my hair. So now that I got all the leave-in in my hair so my hair doesn't dry up on me, I'm gonna show you guys the hairstyle really quick. You wanna see the hairstyle I'm doing today, Nelly? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is That's So Yasmin on TikTok. She did her hair like this basically. And I'm kind of just gonna do like, you see it's a side part, so I'm gonna do like kind of like a deep side part on the opposite side of my head that I usually don't part my hair on because I just want to see the difference. And then it's like two like low braids, but I'm also gonna take like little curly pieces out, but it's also a swoop. So I'm gonna do a deeper swoop than what she did, but that's kind of like my inspiration or whatever for this hairstyle. So yeah, I just wanted to give those credits. We'll probably do a voiceover kind of explaining everything, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I started it off by getting my deep side part going and trying to angle it towards the center as best as I could so that once I made my braids, one wouldn't be way larger than the other one. And a trick I found helpful when parting my hair down the middle is spraying it and getting it kind of like moisturized before you actually part it. So now I take my Pattern Beauty leave-in and I apply it to the section. And then once I finish that, I take the Pattern Beauty styling cream and I do the same thing. Now this is something new I've been trying. I recently bought this detangling wet brush from Target and it actually worked pretty well with this hairstyle. So 
So of course with a style like this you're going to need tons of gel so I use my go to the red argan oil eco gel and I apply it to all the sections of my hair I'll need to be smooth and slick. Now I just repeat basically every single thing I did to that side, do the same thing to this side. But we can't forget the swoop, so before we finish anything, we need to separate that off. For the swoop, you're just going to want to get a lot of product to get it as smooth as possible and brush, brush, brush and brush, add gel, brush, add gel, brush until you get it right in the perfect position. From there, you're going to try your best to kind of move your ear to place it and flip it up into the opposite ponytail. Okay guys, so I have everything together as far as the swoop and the ponytails. I'm actually really, really happy with how they came out. Now it's time to do the braids. I tried my best to make sure my ponytails were like even and everything. Now I just have to braid it and leave out the curlies. I feel like that's gonna be kind of hard. Um, this piece that's hanging from the swoop, I'm gonna leave for like the wrap of the braid, so. I found it way easier when dealing with the wrap part of the braid to pin it up out of the way while you're braiding. But as far as the braiding, you're just gonna do a basic three strand twist, but along the way you're gonna stop and pull out like a couple strands of hair to however you like and leave that out on each side as you go. So you kind of have to figure out where you want that placement of those curls to be and try your best to take the curls out there. Okay, so I got the braid and everything done. I just put a little rubber band on the end. Usually I don't, but it's kind of like the look. I want it to not be all the way braided down to the end. The product is kind of, so I'm just going like this with the towel, but here are the little curly pieces I left out. I'm gonna have to work with them a little bit and like put product on them and stuff. I'm about to um wrap the ponytail base with this, so I'm just gonna use some gel and bobby pin it.
So just like the other braided side, I'm gonna do the same exact thing to this side. So I'm pretty much done with my hair. Super happy with how it came out. I feel like the curls on this side came out a lot better than the other side. And as it dries, it kind of like shrinks up so it looks better. So now I just have to do my edges. And then after that, I'm gonna start doing my makeup. So my hair is done and everything. Uh, let me zoom out. I think it's really, really cute and different. I don't really do hairstyle like this. So I think it's super cute. And I think it'll be even cuter once I put my makeup on. So that's what we're gonna do next. I don't really wanna do it in the bathroom. I think I'm gonna do it in my room. Oh yeah, babe. Very, very happy with how this new hairstyle came out. Usually when I do new hairstyles, it doesn't go too well for me and it's really frustrating. So I'll see you guys in my room once we start doing my makeup. Okay guys, so I'm in my room now. I haven't did my makeup as if I was actually going anywhere in a really long time. It's really weird. I feel like I almost forgot how to do it. But um, I'm just moisturizing my face. I have my mirror right here. But um, the moisturizer I'm using is the CeraVe moisturizing cream that I've literally been using the last seven years. And that's just dramatic, but I've been using it for a really long time now. In the sun by now, like it gets so dark. I need to start doing my makeup because I'll be sitting here talking more than I'm doing anything else. But it gets so dark so early now. It starts getting dark at like 4.30. And it's 2.30 right now. So I'm just trying to get my life together. This is my concealer. Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer that I've also been using for a really long time. First concealer I ever really started with and still using it, so. I'm trying to see some of the new stuff that I got. I got new eyelashes, new bronzer, new highlight, and new um, brow stuff. So I'm gonna be using that today. What I needed to get was a new beauty blender because this is pretty nasty, but hey. what I'm gonna do with my eyebrows today. I'm about to use my Laura Mercier powder on the spots I put my concealer in, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with my eyebrows today because as I was telling you guys earlier, I've been letting them grow out. And when they grow out, I do really, really bad at doing them. Like I do them too thick because I'm like trying to match the new growth. If I'm out, not that cute. But then if I just conceal them, then they look really like thin. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, this is the Laura Mercier powder. I love this powder. I really wanna try this new Wet n Wild bronzer, but I'm scared. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be too dark and I'm not gonna like how it looks. And I think I'm just gonna stick with the normal routine because I really don't wanna look stupid. Actually, I'm gonna try it. Fuck it, I'm just gonna try it. Bro. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so I can't even get it open, so I don't think I'll be using this. Okay, so moral of the story, I can't even get the bronzer open, so I definitely won't be using it. I'll be using my normal one. So this is the Becca bronzer. Um, it's in the shade Bronze Bondi, <laughs> whatever that means. And I just slap it on the brush and go. I do a little on the forehead, kind of just around like the edges and stuff. 
to make it like blend better and then i contour my nose and kind of like my jaw with this one this is the fenty beauty island ting by the way both all of my bronzers are not really like i think it's doing more than what it's really doing i just feel like it makes a difference though you know so i just go like this with this little brush thing right and i just go and i do the other side like i said i really don't know what i'm doing still it's been so many years i still don't really know what i'm doing but i just try my best like i just know how i like my face to look and i just do it okay so now i'm gonna brush all this like little powder and stuff on my face off if i can find the freaking brush oh my camera's finna die but let me do this really quick i'll be right back gotta get the battery so I just switched out the battery. Sorry if the angle's a little bit different. So, I look good. I'm like, my makeup's not done, I look good. I just have to say it. Like, I, it's been so long since I've looked at myself and been like, you look good today. Cause I just been bumming, but it's nothing wrong with that. It's just like, I feel back to myself. Um, I wanted to try this new highlight, but like I said, I can't get either of those products open. I don't even think I wanna mess with the eyebrows today. Yeah, let's put the lashes on. I hope I like the shit. I hope I like these eyelashes. We're gonna put them on and see. I hate how I open stuff. Like, I'm just so messy. Oh well. Yeah, these are gonna be cute. Ah! These are gonna be so cute! Okay, like, that's so ridiculous that I just got that excited over this pair of eyelashes. That's what I mean. Like, I be, t I be just be talking to myself, but I just be like, shit! Oh my god, look at all this. <laughs> oh my god. No! Oh my. Okay, so small mishap. I got a ton of glue. Oh my god. Of glue on my eyelash, like on the eyelash part, not just the band, like the eyelash part, because this is like such not precision. And they got the nerve to call this. I, I don't know, but. <laughs> I don't know, but like, what the heck? What the? I just got bad luck with the eyelashes today. Is that the universe telling me? Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna put my highlight on. I'm really struggling today. I am i don't know why. I'm gonna use my new highlight, the Precious Petals by Wet n Wild. And we're just gonna... Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that, okay? Simple, kind of neutral. Okay, so I'm gonna use the other highlight. This one's okay, I'm not even finna juice it actually. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that, okay? I actually like the other one better. I think it's better, better for my skin tone. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that one. I don't wanna be like blowing too much on these hoes, you know? Not too much. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my little precision brush and put it in the corner of my eyelids. And keep in mind, I switched from the Precious Petals to Golden Flavor, I think. It's kind of like so old the label isn't on it anymore. As far as these eyelashes, I'm pretty sure this is the right. Still not freaking dry. What's taking this damn glue so long? Nobody feels like sitting here waiting this long. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips in the meantime. The Half Red by MAC lip liner. I don't like this color, so I'm gonna use a little bit of the other one too, which is a plum. I haven't did this in so long. I don't know if I really like these eyelashes. I don't know if they're giving. I'm gonna put the other one on, but I'm not really a fan of these. Yeah, like, are these giving to you guys? They're not giving. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna do my natural eyelashes. This just, this just made me so mad. I just waited all this time for these eyelashes and they're ugly. They're ugly. I'm done. Like at this point, the natural lashes are just giving more than the other ones. They just, they just are. 
so this is kind of the final look of course i have to finish my lips and everything i kind of forgot this is a new lip color by fenty i don't know if this is even the one let's see if i like it it's too pink but maybe i like that let's see this is called latte lips um give it that spice it needs i'm liking i'm liking the look so now it's time to get dressed it's time to figure out a cute outfit it's time i'm gonna come back and show you guys once i'm done okay guys so i found the outfit and everything since everything is kind of so pretty here i kind of wanted to go for a more tomboy baggy look today so this is the full outfit it's basically this trippy red shirt from cold print store on instagram shop with them they sent me this the pants are from Brandy Melville. They're just these really light baggy cargo pants. And then I have on my, oh, I just stepped on that. Then I have on my new Jordan 4s I just bought. I haven't even worn them yet. Still not really wearing them because I'm not going anywhere. And then I have this cute little black stitching urban um, outfitters purse. So I just think this is pretty cute. Um, I just got this new K initial necklace, so I kind of want to put it on. I got this from Urban Outfitters as well. Jeez. Uh, so here is the little initial. I got the necklace on. I think it's really cute. I like how where it falls. I kind of actually wish I did it tighter so it fell here. Yeah, that's super cute. Now it's time for earrings. I think I'm gonna double up on my hoops today. These are also from Urban Outfitters. Just ordered these. Okay, so I got the earrings and the jewelry and everything on. I just found these really old red glasses and they're giving, so why not wear them and then i have these hoops from urban outfitters like i said this ring this butterfly ring is from shein and these two necklaces are my mom's I actually get a lot of questions about these but you know like they're not even mine they're my mom's so i'm gonna see you guys when somebody's home and can take my pictures for me so in the meantime i'll see you guys later guys so my dad is home so he's gonna take me some pictures real quick outside he just got here i know he hates me <laughs> he gonna ask me he say what kind of pants you got on i said cargo pants he don't know about the drip though he don't know let me prop y'all up so y'all can see no you take it with the phone oh what you thought so what you want me to do take my picture okay so okay you stand over there because that's, that's the lights coming from over there no it's, it's kind of like it's a shadow your shadow you your shadow real bad. take a picture of it i just want to see it like this yeah like that perfect Okay, that's enough. Let me see. That's plenty, man. Come on, dude. I don't think you got enough. I got plenty. Yeah, you, 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 you all right. I know you need, man. Thanks, Dad, for taking my picture. So I'm gonna finish my TikTok. I did like a transition TikTok, so I'm gonna try to finish that. I'm trying to see where else I can catch some light in this house. So I'm gonna try to finish my TikTok right here. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I just wanted to close out the video. Basically, since I waited so long, you know, like with getting ready and everything, the sun goes down at 4.30 around here. So I got a few cute pictures with my dad. Um, my mom took me a few outside, but by then the sun was gone and they looked so terrible. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like we got to catch up a lot regardless of the pictures itself. We got to talk, chat, little get ready with me. Let me know more videos you guys want in the future. Be sure to follow all my social medias in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.